Okay, let's discuss some of the uh, finer points of simple DXF. So what I want to show you here is, uh, first of all, um, I find it beneficial to turn endpoints on in styles. And then you can see if you've got uh, geometry that needs to be cleaned up, this sort of thing. Okay, next thing I would like to show you is that right now what I've done, and I, I've just named these groups that contain geometry uh, by things that make sense to me. So a line, an open polyline, an outline, a rectangle, arcs, and circle. Okay, so the first thing to note is that what you need to do to even create the simplest is a, like a rectangle is you need to turn that into a group and then you need to be have the, a group within a group and uh, the whole point of it is to keep everything organized together uh, so you can move it around together this sort of thing and there's no geometry in the outmo outermost group so how do you do that well you can put in a temporary line grab the two I use a, hot, a shortcut G for group. I don't like the G for components because I don't use components that often. Then come in here and delete the line. So what do we have? We have now a group and we have the group with, with the uh, actual rectangle in it. Now uh, another shortcut key I like to use is H for hide. So you can hide all the other geometry. So when I go into here, this sort of thing, and you can toggle it back and forth very quickly when it's a shortcut. So having said that, choose all of the groups and hit G for group. And now we have something that um, can be uh, turned into a DXF. So we just select it, turn or, or choose DXF ex export. In this case, I'm just going to overwrite test DXF and then I'm going to bring it back in immediately. Now, everything looks good. The f a few points to note is that any circle is going to have a temporary uh, little construction point on it, which makes it easy for you to uh, check your measurements and this sort of thing. Okay, uh, the other thing to note is that an arc is going to have a starting point and an, uh, and an ending point and since we haven't specified it it's whatever the create order was same goes with the line same goes with the start for the open polyline and for the closed rectangle and for the outline okay to note it's the actual um, face that determines the cutting direction whether it be clockwise or counterclockwise so it turns out that the reversed face is always clockwise and the uh, regular uh, normal face is counterclockwise and so how can you tell well the CCW is pointing to the start point um, and uh, that's all there is to it so up at the top it's CW's here now if you have a situation where you want to uh, control the points, then we can use this new tool, which is to set the starting direction. Now I can set the starting point here, down here at the bottom, or I can set it at the top. And when I set it at the top, it'll get rid of the bottom one. And if you try to uh, put it in anywhere else you're going to get messages telling you that you cannot do this okay so uh, here we put one there and with uh, the uh, 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 sorry a, uh, a circle does not have a start and an end it doesn't even have a cutting direction it's normally set up for a drill bit that, uh, that goes into a CNC router however if you don't have a drill bit here we, what we can do is let's just uh, remove uh, let's just put a line across to here to here and then delete it and it 
SketchUp likes to take the arc and put them back into make a circle. So that being said, what we can do here now is we can change. All right, we're going to say right there. So we're going to split the arc into two circles right there. So or the circle into two arcs and put in a starting point. And over here, we, we noticed earlier that this was a clockwise from here. And let's say we want to put it right in the middle. Well, the only way you can do actually do that is by divide the line. And then once it's been divided, then you can put one there and you're good to go. Last thing to note is that this little leg down right here is the depth or the thickness of the part. Uh, so you can use it or you can set up a push-pull for a complete part. doesn't matter. We wor I work with both. Okay, so now that we've got that, we're going to turn around and save this out again. Test. Save it out. Yes. And then we're going to bring it back in. Okay, so our point, our pin, clockwise. Our pin, clockwise. Our pin, clockwise. Okay, and uh, this one here is the starting pin, and this one here is the start pin. So you can see we can not only control um, the uh, direction of the of the cutting path, but we can also control the actual start location where you're going to be starting your routing. Okay, um, that's all for now. Thank you very much. Hope you had uh, got a little bit out of this. Okay, thank you. Bye now.